Where am I today? This is going to be good. I'll try to speak up. I'm going to try to speak up. I've been having a volume problem because I'm making a transition from when you transition from studio to out on the street, you got to raise your voice a little bit. I, I forget. Amateur, right? Fucking amateur. So here I am up in uh, New York City. Uh, you know, it's my hometown. You know where you are, right? Ah, Empire State Building, 23rd Street, Madison Square Park. And uh, this is, uh, I mean, you know, this, is, this isn't this is an event for everybody. And I understand that, but I'm gonna be here because there's a cause that I believe in. About uh, 10 years ago, I became a vegetarian, vegan. And um, I started to, uh, I started to research the, the you know, the, the, the horrific conditions that animals were raised in. And, um, and it, it struck me as being very, very wrong. So this is some sort of, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's some sort of gathering of uh, animal lovers and uh, vegan people. And uh, we'll see what happens, you know? I'm just gonna walk around, talk to some people. Friends, not food. There you go. Try to get up to the front, see what all the yelling's about. I think it's a, I think it's some sort of march. I'm not sure. That's damn interesting, right? See if I can you talk can to some people. Rescues. Funny story. When I was working as a, I was working as a garbage cop, right? I was working as a garbage cop once. And this guy in the car said, "Fucking vegans, they smell." <laughs> Jerk off. I don't smell anything. So crowded in here. Let me get out of here. Pushy New Yorker. Get out of my way. So that shit. Push that guy out of the way. A lot of people got to get their dogs out. It's beautiful. A lot of cops. friendly in New York man it's a myth they don't they, they know a ruckus when they see one this is no this is, this is a lover this people I love animals so let's give you a little tour because be it's 23rd Street uh, Madison Square Park if you remember from my DSNY days I I was at the court uh, house around the corner and uh, the famous uh, famous cuckoo clock 23rd Street Cuckoo Clock. So, uh, I don't know, animal rights, right? Chain them up, eat them. So that doesn't, can't be right. Hot cop. Uh, sexy cops. <laughs> sexy NYPD. Uniform fantasy. I'm gonna find some people to talk to. Just give me a break. I got this one.
it's a lot of people that um, stand in strict opposition of uh, farming of animals. That the foods we eat can easily be manufactured through plant sources. And that meat is actually a choice. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a requirement. Look at me. I'm 54 years old. Do I look like 54 years old. It's bullshit. Can't get you protein. Bullshit. Call them bullshit. Let's talk to this lady. She looks friendly. How you doing? What is? Hey, can I bring you into my frame? Talk about it. How are you? What's your name? Laura. Hi, Laura. My name is Marcus, uh, YouTube channel, and uh, I do mostly politics, but I think there is a political twist to uh, the message here. What do you got? What are you doing? Come well, on. first of all, I'm trying to get people to go to change.org and sign the petition there that they can find by putting in the words torture, geese, and New York. Uh, it's asking Jill Favor, the um, Assistant Attorney General, to investigate Hudson Valley foie gras under the animal cruelty laws that exist in the state of New York. I handed out a lot of uh, pamphlets that describe the process of foie gras, which is forcibly overfeeding every single day, several times a day, ducks and geese that are confined until their livers nearly burst so that people can eat this delicacy. So that's torture and that's illegal and they should be prosecuted. I'm also handing out some pamphlets so that people who aren't part of the march can understand uh, kind of why we're here. And I also have some uh, PETA DVDs by Paul McCartney and narrated also by Peter right, Dinklage. Paul McCartney, that's right. He's a, he's a vegan. Oh, and that. Peter Dinklage, too, from Game of Thrones. Uh-huh. Um, uh -huh. So, you know, trying to get people who are curious about why we're all here more informed. Right. So what it, why, you could, maybe you could help me because I, I, I'm kind of illiterate like that. I just showed up, right? So what's going on here? What, what are we actually looking at? Is this a coming together of a lot of different vegan kind of groups, uh, animal rights groups? It's a lot of on? animal rights groups. It's a lot of just individuals and people who care about animals. Right. They don't want to see animals uh, abused and confined and killed for us, whether to be eaten or to be worn or to be put in cages or, and to be looked at. I mean, the, why do we have the right to do yeah. that? I mean, we're just all animals. We're homo sapiens. They're a different species. but. We don't. I have the right to do that unless your morality is right makes right. Might, might, right make might makes right. If you believe that, then okay. But I think that's a terrible moral code. And uh, so we're here just to raise awareness. I mean, people have to know. Right. Right. Yeah, it, it does seem unfair. I think that there's. I think the fundamental problem we have right now is twofold. One is, as to see if you agree with that, is that this. It's uh, the the animal farming is very profitable. A company like McDonald's, there's no way that they're going to... Uh... They're going to change when, when the market changes. Right. It starts with the people. Starts whether the it's people. political, whether it's market-driven, whatever it is, it starts with the people. And if the people ask for almond milk rather than cow's milk, and people ask for... Good. I, I love then, it. then they do it. They, they, will, they will respond. Money talks. Money talks. And so we all have to, every day, do whatever we can. Don't buy that stuff. You know, tell them you want vegan options. Right. Um, McDonald's, Fight fur. McDonald's Tell people could, to get their fur coats off. McDonald's could flip to to a vegan menu. It could start slowly, little by little. In, Nothing in happens hour, overnight. They, they probably already have it set up where they could do it. And you know the thing about change, it doesn't take everybody. Right. It takes just enough to make the tipping point. Who would have thought 10 years ago that um, gay marriage would be right. embraced? Who right. would have thought this? So I mean, things can happen. Pot marijuana is going to be the, legal. It's illegal. Right. Yeah. And it, it can happen. Yeah, yeah. You've just got to do what you can, and that's why we're all here I think today. Also, I think also there's a disconnect between most people that eat meat, they, they think of it, they don't see, especially here, we're in the New York that's City. That's why I'm most... handing this out. Take a look at it. If you can't stomach watching the process, right. then wake up and open your eyes. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, it's horrible. It's hell. It's a holocaust of suffering, yeah. and you are participating in it. Every time you sink your teeth into the flesh of another creature, you are a part of it. Right. And don't go to bed at night thinking you're not. Well, well, thank you so much for your you. time. It's good talking okay, to you. Man. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. All right, cool. That was cool, man. That was good talking. Uh, vegans are. They're, uh, they believe. 
Uh, we've seen the light. So, you know, it does tie into politics, right? Because all these people, if, they don't, if they're not aware, they don't know anything about fucking politics. They don't know anything. They don't know why. If you choke McDonald's, you get, you get, vegan, you get a vegan diet. It's always connected to the stock market. All the answers lie in the market, right? Those guys, you're not going to stop them. You're not going to stop people disinforming people about the animal abuse and, and uh, the profiteering on, on, the, on the back of cows. One of the most, you know, one of the most uh, congenial animal on the face of the earth. The chickens, one of the most tortured creature on earth. Fucking horrible, right? You're getting loud now, it's starting to get loud. You're getting loud. I see some good signs, I don't see any good signs. <laughs> Criticizing their signs. hard to hear. Oh look, a Trump sign. Trump is bad for animals. <laughs> That's a good sign. Is he? I don't know. That's a good sign. Let's talk about it. Hey, can I talk? Can I, can I uh, ask you about your sign? Hi. Uh, Marcus, can I bring you to my frame? Ah, cool. Uh, I do I do mostly a, a political... Uh, a political... <laughs> I'm a vegan, I'm on your side. But I do mostly a political uh, blog. And the sign says Trump is bad for animals. Tell me why. Because I believe it, but I want to hear you. Well, first I should. Yes. First I should say that I'm not actually the artist. What's your name? Stacy. The artist's name is Irene. She's further along in the march. She was so gracious and actually said, "Oh, you didn't have a sign." She made 58. Uh huh. Made 58. Yeah, of these signs. Oh, 58 signs. Yeah. I don't mean 58 years old. No, no. All right, go ahead. Um, and I happen to agree with her. She did disclose it was a politically charged sign before yeah. handing it over. Right. Um, Trump is bad for animals too. Where should I start? Okay, there's the Sierra Nevada Grande, the animals that will be cut off from water and, and okay. uh, so water biodiversity. Supply. One, go. What? One, yeah, water supply. Yeah, uh, water continue. supply. Absolutely. I'm on your side, trust me. Yes. <laughs> I just want to hear I want to hear it because I want to let you tell me why. Okay, so... Water supply, something I didn't think of. Yes, uh, biodiversity, I mean all of these uh, hunting for conservation issues right. that have arisen from different regulations being disregarded. Right. Uh, international what about the economy? legal trade. What about the economy? Yes. You, can, you have like... Yeah, this disbalance. Do you think McDonald's wants a, a, a vegan diet? I think that McDonald's consumers want a vegan diet. I think a lot of them would be open to be more to be more healthy, and so I think they've taken measures. So that's something. I think they also know how much the government is subsidizing the bill for meat, and so they don't want to lose a market share. Right. Which is veganism? So I think it really. Wait, 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 wait! You said Trump is not supportive. You said vegan is is more healthy, but the McDonald's they're saying that well, they're saying that uh, that uh, you, you can't live without protein. What about that? I'm not just saying. I'm not saying McDonald's doesn't have a long way to go. I'm not even advocating McDonald's. It was something that arose from our conversation. Right. And yes. Yeah. yeah no, I, I said. It, I thought. Yeah. I said. It. Cool. Um, well, what else? What else? So what's the number one thing? How do we? How do we? How do we hit a tipping point and get people to... Because showing people slaughter videos and going well, to murders, actually, that doesn't really work. This sign was, and many of her signs, you should point your camera over there, there she okay. is, she's on the brown shirt, were, uh, I think, uplifting images, like 
that pe help people draw connections. Like I was, my husband actually doesn't want to come to rallies like this because even though he's vegetarian yeah. and he's an animal rights advocate, that it's upsetting to him. And yeah. a lot of people don't want to, they shouldn't be blind to the situation, but they right. can't handle it. And obviously who could if they actually- Yeah, it chokes like, me up. I'm having a hard time. Yes. So I think um, images like yeah, yeah. fabulously giraffe. adorable giraffe on the sign is a good point. I love those videos. People keep making them. I'll keep watching them of like the dog and the cow playing together ah. and they've got the similar coloring. I think that things like that like help people draw connections that all animals deserve respect. So. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Wow, great interview. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Good talking. Let's get interview. So, um, what's that? It's Marcus Conti. If you look at the image, you'll find me somewhere. If you just stand, you'll find me. So, let's talk to some more people. Hey, good people, man. Nobody's telling me to go fuck myself. <laughs> Get used to that, you know? Come to rallies, people are like, I'm on their side, you know? Well, that's a good sign. Can I bring you into my frame? Good sign. Ah, speaking my language. <laughs> fuck fuck. Tell me about it. What's wrong with fuck? Well, we could all read, but you tell me. What's what's? It's a great sign. Sign of the day. Sign of the day. Yeah. Well, simple. To the point. It's concise. It's concise. Uh -huh. An animal's fur is its own use for its own use, rather. And we have a number of synthetic products at this point that are going to do the job in a far superior way, uh, or at least equivalent. And we don't have to use it. At this point, it's, um, it's unnecessary and it's abusive. So fuck for it. Totally, man. There's no, there's no, so you're saying that there's no, there's no reason for a mink coat or a, or a, or a fur hat, right? That's Absolutely bullshit, right? not. They're antiquated status symbols. Status. Status. So how many how many animals how many minks does it take to make one front coat? That's a good question. I don't know. It's probably like 30, 40, or 50. Yeah. Insane amount. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Good talking to you, man. That's a good guy. So you got fur lovers, you got you got the um, hi, how you guys doing? Can I bring you into my frame? You got a big smile. No, yes. Oh. So, my name is Marcus Conti, I'm, uh, I'm just a reporter, I do mostly politics. And uh, so what brings you out here today? You from the area or you a tourist? Uh, we, I used to live in the city. Okay. Um, Big smile. And I conceived her uh -huh. uh, as a vegan. <laughs> Excellent. Um, How long have you been a vegan for? I've been a vegan for 20, 20 years. 30 years. Wow. How about you? Um, I've been a vegan for like five. Long time? Yeah, ten years, five years? Like You're not even ten years old. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. It's a good event, man. It's, a re it's really, yeah, it's, incredible it's, 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 a, it's an important event. I think that, we're, you know, there's less than, I don't know, maybe 10% of the, the American population even know what anybody here is talking about, and that's a shame. And, uh, you know, I just... You know, me 10 years ago, I'm, uh, that's, uh, I became a vegetarian. I just keep going. So uh, so thank thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Talk to all kinds of people. They don't want to talk. They're afraid of the camera. Uh, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who on earth is this guy? That's a cool shirt. Can I bring you into my friends? Sure. I like your shirt. Thank you. Look at shirt. Ah. Yes. Oh. Some, some vegan people. Hello. Is he sure? Oh, there we go. It's backwards. No, it's not backwards. It just it, it, when it when it when it plays. Hey, come here. Let me get, let me get in the middle, of you guys. So sure. tell me tell me about uh, tell me about the. Let's go this way. So we see the Empire State Building. Got a lot of there we go. people from coming so. So uh, so my, so we, I do mostly a political blog. Okay. Uh, and uh, but I also happen to be a vegan uh, vegetarian. So what's the what's the point of all this? What brings what brings you guys out there today? Um, the animals for me. Right, and cool. I'm with her, and you know I, I support the same thing. You know we all we need to free these animals. We need to treat these animals like 
we would treat everybody else or should treat everybody else. Sentient you know, we're, beings, right? We're, yeah, we're all exactly. beings, we're all the same, you know. We're, just because we're different doesn't mean we are better. Or we all have the same else. desires. We all have the desire to live, the desire to not feel pain, the desire to, you know, survive in peace. So that's right. what we're advocating for. How do we Absolutely. make it happen? Consumer driven. You just, you just stop buying the products, you know. You And you educate. You educate. Educate. Try and push this, you know, not push, but you know, teach people and, and show people the way. So it's a, it's an eco you're telling me you're telling me, sir, that that the problem is an economic problem, not a social problem. It's absolutely both. I think uh, you, you can you can you can do it with both ways. You can educate and teach people the difference and maybe help help make that connection. But it's also you know you can go and buy. It's up to the, that person. Everything. It's up to that person. They have everyone has a choice. So I think that. You have to look within yourself and see the bigger picture, and first. just yeah, Absolutely. yeah, first, Absolutely. exactly. You have to understand what it's about, and, and that discrimination is discrimination in all forms. No matter what, it's, it's against an animal that's you know smaller, bigger, dumber, smarter. It doesn't matter. You know, right. discrimination is discrimination. Well, it's speciesism. Spe yeah, speciesism. that's it. Speciesism. Absolutely. Speciesism. I didn't think I knew that, did you? <laughs> oh, so, we know uh, you knew that. <laughs> So, so, so economic problem. What do, what do you say about you take a company like McDonald's that doesn't pay a nickel in tax, and you jack their tax rate up to eighty percent? Squeeze them. Right? Yeah, yeah, Squeeze yeah. Them make them and hurt make where them, the money comes. Right. right, and make them make them respond to the people. Absolutely. Make them respond to the people. Because we're the ones that power it all, you know. Right. Without us, they wouldn't be there. They wouldn't have the food to sell. They you know, are you from New York? No, we're from Texas. Texas. So, so who's your who's your senators in Texas? I have no clue. <laughs> I don't care. See, that's and there lies the problem. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 26, 27. Sorry. 27. And, and, and there's no idea. And I'm not I'm not knocking yeah, you. Yeah, no, yeah. You can walk around New York, and and most of the people here have no idea who the New York senators. Yeah, are. I would say it's probably Ted Cruz, but I'm not sure. I think you're right. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that's who it <laughs> is. I don't know, but Texas. I'm not sure. I only know I'm running for senator here in New York, so that's, oh, okay. that's one of the. Well, hopefully you, you can make it, man. Yeah, I, I hope so too. I mean, it's a fight. We need a vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More, more people with the same same idea needs to be in power because right now it's money funding the agriculture business and governments yes. supporting it and lobbying against it or for it, and you know it's it's just going to be a, a power between. We got to take our blinders off. We got to yeah. take our blinders off. So, yeah. Very good talking, to you guys. Thank Thanks, you so man. much for your time. Have Appreciate a good one. it. High five. Thank you. High five, man. So, ah, those guys, those people are good. Those people are awesome. What's up? Oh, I gotta talk to the pig. I gotta talk to the cow. Can I talk to the cow? Can I talk to him? Can I bring in? Ah, milk me. Milk, milk me, milk you. That's it, my milk. Milk me. My milk. milk. My milk, not yours. That's it. So, so you, so you, so tell me why, why, why a cow? Why? I thought, I thought cows like to give milk. Yeah, so they're babies. Not, give it to not, the babies. Not, not your babies, and not the big babies. That's and, that. I didn't learn that in high school. They give you in, in elementary school. They give you milk. And they say drink the milk because it makes you strong. It makes your bones strong. But what about? But they don't tell you they were sued for false advertisement for lying about that. It actually robs the calcium out of your bones and does the opposite. So the only way to get cow's milk is is, is how? We, I, I, we can get milk from peas, almonds, and a bunch of other things. We don't need to get it from a cow. What happens to the cow baby? What happens to the calf when you take the milk? The poor little thing. It's horrible. It's day one, they get taken away from their mommy. Most of them get killed. It's horrible. They get killed? They get killed or taken away from their mommy to do the same thing for the rest of their lives. So so only a pregnant cow gives the milk, right? Yeah. So they have to take the baby cow to get the milk from the mommy. So people can drink their milk and eat cheese. It chokes me up, you know, it's hard for me to even talk about this shit. But, but because people don't realize that they're addicted to what's called caseins, yeah. bovine caseomorphins, five and seven, which is literally opiates and heroin. Literally quite addictive. And plus the hormones that they shoot the animals. Oh, that's with. just a totally adulterated, yeah. yeah, totally messes them up. Yeah. So, uh, how about... It's well, a bonded hormone for the, yeah. for the cat, for the cow. Your, so what's your name? What's your name? Can I bring in? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alyssa. Hi Alyssa, so what's, uh, what's, your, what's your sign set? Um, there's two sides. This one's one. There it goes. Rock and roll. This is the other. Cool. Be the voice to the voiceless. That's right. Nice. So, um, For those that can't speak. Damn speak right, man. 
So you guys have a good day, man. Yeah, De Derek, this is, I want to talk to this guy. Can I, can I bring you into the front? Young man, you know, right? You, want, you got on the camera? So dairy is rape, really? What happens to the cow? All right, that's the part I don't really know. That's fine. I'm going to be completely Okay, honest. that's fine, man, but your sign is correct. To get the cow, you got to, to get the milk, you got to you gotta get rid of the little cow. You know that, right? It's crazy, right? That's crazy. Just that. You said you're from right? Again, I get choked up with this shit. Talk. Fucking cry like a big baby. So you're eating trauma. How about that? Can I bring it to my friend? I like your sign. So, the other side, can I see yours? So, so tell me about it. What, what if you eat, so you're, you're saying that if you eat meat, you're eating, you're eating the torture, right? Transfer, it transfers over to the to the meat, right? Yes. You are what you eat. You are what you eat, right? Exactly. You are what you eat. You can't eat torture, and you can't eat pain, and you can't eat animals and say that you love them. It's true. Wow. Thank you. For talking to me. Got a low voice. Not some loud people. <laughs> it's all out of town people. Oh, this is an interesting one right here. Let's talk to this one. I'm sorry. Hey, can I can I bring you to my frame? I like your sign. Sure. The sign says, what's the sign say? Tell me about it. <laughs> so if slaughterhouses had and dairy farms had glass walls, everyone would be vegan. So if everybody could see what was going on, they wouldn't they wouldn't do it, right? No, absolutely not. Why so? Because it's cruelty and you know, we are animals too, and people don't understand that. And I think the lack of education is what, you know, is in the gap. I've actually met some smarter pigs than some people. Yeah, to be me, honest too. With you. me too. Me too. Cows, cows are brilliant. Cows, cows have... are so smart. And fun fact cow mothers um, hold their babies for nine months, just like women. So, you know, they hold their babies and then they're ripped from them. Cows do? Yep. Wow. So. They are just like us, so who are we to just kill them for our pleasure? How do we turn it around? How do we change it? How do we change? By what we're doing today, marching and educating. It's all about education. People just don't see it and they don't know. So you live in the city, you wouldn't even, we don't, nobody even knows what you're talking about. They don't see a pig die, they don't see a cow die. Exactly. It's just the lack of education and lack of seeing of what's going on. So. Just keep educating, keep fighting, keep being a good person, and cruelty-free is the future. Wow, ah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good talk. Yeah. I do think there's going to be a rally at some point. I think all these people are going to stop moving. So anyway, there you go. So we've got some good talks. Can't make it too long, you know. We oh, yeah. have half an hour already of this. Working half an hour of animal rights. Wow, half an hour of animal rights. Hey, see my, I'll give you my submit. Oh, there's a pig. There's a pig. Hey, pig head. That's good, son. That's good. So I go do a summation of this. I think that, you know, what's my what's my view on it? I think that everybody I hadn't heard a single you know, single objection in the whole crowd, right? I agree with all of it. Right? It's a pig, man. It's just a, 
It's a pig, man. They're smart creatures. They deserve life, too. They're so selfish, right? It's only people? The whole plan is people? After, after the... That's it? Just people. No animals. Because that's where we're heading. We're heading to a planet with no people, no animals, just people, right? Killing everybody off, the endangered species, raising pigs to die, raising geese to die. Hey, look, I took, when I became a vegetarian, vegan, right? I, 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 was, I fell into the trap of calling people murderers and, and, and uh, that's not what it is. It's ignorance, that's what it is. It's total fucking ignorance of, of uh, the nature of reality, really. That we are not that far away from uh, animals. We're not, we, we cannot claim superiority. At least with a straight face. At least say that, you know, you know hunters. I didn't see many hunter signs, but but put those guns down, man. Pick up a camera and shoot the animals. Shoot the animals with a camera. Don't shoot them with no gun. This shit is disgraceful. Defenseless animal, and you, you shoot them with your big gun. Little dick. Uh, so anyway, I guess I'll wrap it up, man. That's my vegan walk today. I get some coffee. With soy milk. Coffee, soy milk, it's actually a lot better. It's the fucking... I can't eat that shit, man. I can't even look at it. Peace. Marcus Conti reporting.